when I talk to Shaq, and I always mess with him, I always say, I ain't got your kind of money yet, but what are you investing in? If Damn. He fucks his mind up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. They've been doing like entertainment business for a long time, and they've, they have so much knowledge to share. So Correct. why not? But what I love about what you said is the fact that you're able to call all these people. A lot of people meet these people, shake hands, and then walk off. Not getting that digit, not getting that number to keep that relationship no, going. No, when I when I talk to Shaq, and I always mess with him, I always say, I ain't got your kind of money yet, but what are you investing in? If Damn. It fucks his mind up. Damn. It fucks his mind up. That's real, though. Like, you know, like what, what business, like, how do you get this? You know, how did you get this commercial? And he breaks it down to you? He breaks me, he break it down, tell me what I need to do and keep doing it. Damn it. And because his main thing is keep being you and I got you. Man. I'm going to continue to shout you out, continue to put your face out. And Dwayne Wade, he, he do it too. Dwayne Wade do the same thing I was just about said, to say. I found out a way to get people attention. Because like when I'm doing my skits, like a lot of people are like, man, how can I get these big people attention? I'm in their inbox. Well, if you're a comedian, start calling their name out. That's you actually got to be funny, though. Yeah. And the way you do it. See, I knew that uh, Fashion Nova shit mm -hmm. was going to hit D-Wade. In my own you slick way. It in my own before it happened? In my own slick way. Yeah. What did you say? I said, Dwayne Wade is rolling over in this Fashion Nova. Think about uh, it. Think about it. If you know Dwayne Wade and his character and everything, mm -hmm. this is ways you say shit. Now he gonna know if that's a jab or that just love. <laughs> I never let the world know what it is, mm. but I got his attention. Wow, he he put it back on his story. That's dope. See, and and, and the way you saying this catchy, we got to get better at that. Maybe mm -hmm. somebody will share out, but we can share it a lot. Mm -hmm. We oh, have a daily house talk, man. Y'all let niggas say on steakhouse. <laughs> Man, I'm, come we was on, on the, man. Hey, man, we were downtown. Shoot, we be everywhere shooting. I mm -hmm. think we one of the only ones to do that. But, uh, man, and love doing it. Love to travel, For man. Sure. But, I got a question. Go ahead. Okay, when you coming out on stage, you all you used to come out to Nipsey, but now you come out to Young Dolph. Why? Both motivation. Both of them the same to me. Mm -hmm. Both of them took care of people. Wow. Dolph was hard. Hard. Taken away from us so young. So with so Nipsey. See, we got to understand, man. When we go out here and kill people, we don't just kill them. We're killing 50 people's lives when we do that. Yeah, that's they take, real. They, take it, they were taking care of so many people. So, yeah, you're right. I come out to Nipsey because I listen to Nipsey before every show. That's the motivation. They clear my thoughts. Nothing negative. All positive. Dolph, he get me in that mode. Like, sometimes I'm human. We all human. Sometimes I be feeling down. And the way I was raised, we always raised to be humble. And I'm always going to be humble. But Dolph make me come out like, Bubble, you that motherfucking nigga, boy, you better act like it. <laughs> wow. You better act like it. What you else for do you a do? reason. What else do you do before I show to psych you up? I mean, I'm laid back person. I'm laid back. I heard something about a green tea. I'm um, dead too. I guess from my vocals. That's just from my vocals. I know y'all who y'all got that from. I'm gonna whoop his ass too. I can whoop him now. He ain't got one. No, he ain't got one. He ain't got one. He ain't got one. He ain't got one. I thought we gonna bring him up here and sign his little old, uh, you know, when he get his cast on. But uh, before the show, I'm probably talking to some people I got up under me. Some uh, comedians. I'm bringing. I'm bringing on the road with me, and um, I want to see them flourish. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.